Hello, this is Gio, and hey, just for fun, I just recently picked up this Fisher Price uh, record player, and it works pretty well. Has some issues, a little vibration on the turntable here, and it tends to slow down after you play it for a while. So I'm thinking about opening it up and getting it all cleaned out and seeing if I could fix the issue. Uh, but there's uh, one problem with that. And that problem is right here in back. Now, before I open it up, I have to get uh, six screws out of, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, removed before I can open it up. But if you kind of look inside here and see if I could actually shine it, you might be able to see that it's not a standard screw. It's a tri-bit screw, but it even gets a little more complicated than that. So here's my little bad sketch of what the top of this screw looks like. Now uh, many, there are tri-bit screws out there and screwdrivers out there uh, like a lot of the Nintendo games have these. But I went online and discovered that I couldn't quite find one that fits this particular pattern. Um, not, the, not the actual tri-bit, but if you cut kind of a cross section right through here and look at it, here's the screw with the threaded end. Now these little grooves here actually start high and go down. Uh, many of the other tri-bit ones kind of go down like a typical Phillips screw. Uh, but these are actually highest in the, in the center and uh, lowest on the edge. And I just can't find this anywhere online. So I'm going to have to make this uh, a screwdriver to fit this if I'm actually going to get this open. And what I'm going to be using is just a typical uh, hex socket wrench here. Uh, so I pick one about the right size. It's sort of about the same size as the screw. And if you actually look at the top, of course, it's a hex wrench. So you kind of, well, if I can get it focused here, uh, see if I can do that. Uh, it's actually six-sided, so it kind of helps me uh, visualize the pattern of the, the tri bit. So you can kind of take one to three sides, uh, but the uh, trick is to try to carve your uh, shape into this piece of metal here. And what I'm going to be using is just my little old Dremel tool uh, with, I have some heavy duty uh, cut off wheel. Uh, these, these are um, number 420 and when it goes in I can kind of use the edge here to carve in the shape at the tip of my hex wrench. So we'll go ahead and put this on and see uh, what I could do with that. Um, beforehand, if you could actually, if you have a screw that's actually exposed, you might take some putty uh, or some clay and actually de depress it uh, in. This one's kind of deep. Uh, I could probably attempt it, but I think I'll just try to eye, eye in the shape uh, on the tip of my hex wrench here and see if I could get it approximately the same shape. Okay, so we got our cutting bit in the Dremel and I'm going to probably take just take a vice grip and get it nice and tight here so it's nice and sturdy. And I'm just going to start this on the low setting. This has both uh, low and high, but just to get the initial cuts, I'm going to start on low setting. So I think I got the basic shape down. You can kind of see if I could focus in here. Let me try to focus in here. You can kind of see, sorry about the focus, but it's generally that tri-bit shape. And so my next thing, I'm just going to take this off and kind of fit this in the screw. I still have to bevel down the center part so it's kind of beveled from the inside out. But I just want to fit, make sure that these, uh, these little uh, uh, gaps are um, thin enough to fit the screw. Just fit this in. It's not going to fit because it's not beveled from the inside, but I could at least kind of get the sense how wide they are. And they do fit the grooves, each one of them. So I'll go ahead and bevel the center of this down and see if I could get this thing to, to work.
And there you go. You can kind of see what I did here. Let's see if I can get the right background. Uh, it's kind of beveled in the center uh, with, with the center being the lowest. And so hopefully it will work. So let's give this a shot. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it seems to have grasped on. And there you go. Homemade tri-bit. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.